The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Psalms 18 verse 2. Hey there, welcome back. In our previous video, we talked about Jacob and his wonderful dream where he saw the ladder going up into heaven and he saw the angels ascending and descending on the ladder and God was at the very top of the ladder. And in that video, we pointed out how that Jacob was in the process of traveling up to Haran to find a wife from among his father's family. So what I'd like to do with this video is to take the story a little bit farther and talk about Jacob's family. So Jacob, he goes to the land of Haran, to the household of Laban, who would have been one of his uncles, basically. And Laban had two daughters that will become very important to this story. Do you remember the name of the two daughters of Laban? The first one, who was the oldest daughter? Do you remember? The oldest daughter's name was Leah. That's right, it was Leah. Now, what about the second daughter? What was her name? Do you remember? Exactly. Her name was Rachel. Now, Jacob fell in love with one of the two daughters. Do you remember who he fell in love with? That's exactly right. He fell in love with Rachel. Now, so he wants to marry Rachel. But Laban basically tells Jacob he's got to work seven years in order to be able to marry Rachel. And so Jacob does. He works seven years, seven years now. Think about that. He works seven years so that he could marry Rachel. And when the time comes to marry her, Laban tricks him and will not let him marry Rachel. But instead, he has to marry Leah, who was the oldest daughter. And so he marries Leah. And then a week later, he is allowed to marry Rachel. And this is just the way they did things way back when. But then he also had to work now. Do you remember how many more years? That's exactly right. He had to work another seven years for Laban, this time for Rachel. Turn to come to find out the first seven years was really for Leah. And now the second seven years is for Rachel. But he's now married to Leah and Rachel. Again, it's how they did things way back then. Now, before he could leave Haran and, and take his whole family with him, he also had to work a number of years for the livestock that he got from Laban. Do you remember how many years he had to work for the livestock? That's exactly right. He had to work six years for the livestock. So think about this. 20 years altogether, he had to work for Laban. And during the course of these 20 years, his family grew and the livestock grew as well. So much so that it was time to go. Now, let's talk for just a moment about his two wives, Leah and Rachel. Leah and Rachel both had handmaids. All right, do you remember what the name of Leah's handmaid was? You remember, think about it for just a moment. Her name was Zilpah. That's right. Her name was Zilpah. And Rachel, she had a handmaid, and her name was, do you remember? That's right. Her name was Bilhah. So we have Zilpah and Bilhah. Now, Jacob ends up having, four, has, ends up having 12 sons. Do you know the 12 sons of Jacob? Well, that's what I'd like for us to review now in this video, is to review the 12 sons of Jacob. Let's go ahead and begin with the first one. Do you remember who the oldest son of Jacob was? That's exactly right. The first son was Reuben. All right, then who came after Reuben? Let's go ahead and say these three together. You had Reuben, and then you had, that's right, Simeon, and then, remember the third one? Levi. So Reuben, Simeon, and Levi. Very good. But now who came after Levi? Who was the next three sons? Well, we have Judah. That's right, Judah. And who was the next one? Exactly, Dan. And then the next one after Dan was 
Naphtali. Great job. So you have Judah, Dan, and Naphtali. All right, now who were the next three? Who comes after Naphtali? That's exactly right, Gad. So now we have Gad, and you remember who comes after Gad? That's exactly right. It's Asher, and then after Asher was Issachar. So Gad, Asher, and Issachar. You're doing a great job so far. And these are working on the 12 sons of Jacob, but we're not done yet. Who were the next three sons after Issachar? Do you remember? Yeah, this one's kind of difficult just because it's an odd name, but it's Zebulun. And then after Zebulun, the next son was Joseph's favorite, was Jacob's favorite. I done told you the name of the son, didn't I? <laughs> Sorry about that. So let's do that again. We have Zebulun, Joseph, and then who was the youngest son? Do you recall? That's exactly right. Benjamin. So let's real quick say them again. We have, and say them with me, Reuben, Simeon, Levi. Good job. Judah, Dan, and Naphtali. Outstanding. Gad, Asher, and Issachar, and then Zebulun, Joseph, and Benjamin. Outstanding. Now, I mentioned earlier that Jacob had 12 sons. Did you know that he also had a daughter? Do you remember the name of Jacob's daughter? Do you remember? That's exactly right. His daughter's name was Dinah. Dinah. Now, you did a good job. This is Jacob's family and the story of how Jacob comes to get such a big family. Now, what's really neat about this is that when you continue studying about the Bible, you find that different, tri different sons, they became tribes. And certain tribes played certain roles within the history of the children of Israel. Think about the tribe of Levi. They were the priests for the children of Israel. But then think about the tribe of Judah. From the tribe of Judah would come the kings of Judah, and ultimately the greatest king of all, and that is Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for your wonderful attention. I really appreciate your studying these Bible facts. Go over these again with your parents. If you don't know the sons of Jacob, you need to. You need to memorize them and make them a part of your Bible knowledge. Until next time, keep studying the Word of God and keep growing in His wonderful Word. We'll do more later. Have a great day. In our first picture submitted by Rose, we have a picture of Jacob's ladder with angels going up and down the ladder. Great job, Rose. In our next picture submitted by Brianna Lynn, we have Jacob sleeping with his head on a rock. Good job, Brianna Lynn. And our last submission comes from Savannah Rose. This is a picture of Jacob's ladder with an angel on the ladder. Great job, Savannah Rose.